kufr ala shirk he was not his sins was not in regard to shirk and kufr his sins was yes major sins but irtikab al murtakib al kaba'ir tahta mashiat Allah the person that, that is upon major sin he is under the will of Allah in sha'a azaba wa in sha'a ghafar as we mentioned yesterday so this was his situation but the other one that was praying fasting and doing all the tatawwuat all the surrogatory actions all the acts of ta'at that he took a spot or meaning he took the place of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether or not he would forgive he took barakallahu fikum the instance of Allah whether he will forgive or he will not forgive so therefore alhamdulillah sometimes we will advise one person we we'll advise him over and over about the same issue so that is not to be given us no leeway to be yani look man you done you in a fire you de- you you done as this individual mentioned this sar hasan sar mentioned a person came to him are telling him about you know about his affairs he tell him man you know what man you done you are done until the brother met another uh, met a salafi brother and tell him about this issue he tell him akhi man repent to allah allah will forgive you allah will not only forgive you but he will be smiling when you are repenting to him now look that's the same issue with the person that killed 99 person and he went to aabid 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 a worshiper the worshiper he didn't have no knowledge and this is sometimes what we don't understand properly not just because a person he is a worshiper that he has knowledge not just because he prays five times he love to pray or he love to get up in the middle of the night and read the quran that he has knowledge of the quran that he understand what is the tawhid in the quran not because he love to pray that he has understanding of the tawhid of Allah and the, the shirk again with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when he went to this person that is a abid a worshiper malahu ilm he didn't have no knowledge but he you love to worship he tell him this there is nothing between you and the tawbah of Allah you are done your deal is sealed it's done it's a wrap it's, it's over now he ended up what killing him Ashi Ubayd al-Jabir, he said that the Abid killed himself. You know why he killed himself? Because speaking about Allah without no knowledge cost his life. Who? I mean, he, he, he spoke about Allah without knowledge. That's even worse. That's worse than shirk because now, not only he is in the situation he is, but he is placing others in the situation that he is. But when to, he went to a alim, when he went to a alim, Akhi Allahu Akbar. Now look at the importance of knowledge. He went to a alim. He killed a hundred person. This was his crime. The alim, yes, it was a big deal. But he knew, Barakallahu Fikum, that if you repent to Allah, Allah will forgive you. And that only it is by knowledge that a person will have it. And he guided him to a people. And you all know, alhamdulillah, the rest of the, the hadith of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, in that regard. So therefore, the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, mentioned, he said, La tal'anhu, do not invoke the curse of Allah on him, because innahu yuhibbu Allah wa rasoolahu, and he indeed love Allah and his Messenger. كذلك بارك الله فيك he said likewise may Allah put baraka in you may Allah put baraka in you he said in zana wa uqima alayhi al-had 
yakunu kafaratan lahu if he fornicates or he and he still or he drink alcohol whatever the case might be and it is established unto him that legal punishment then it will be an expiation for him in other words yawm al qiyamati he will not be held responsible or accountable of that action anymore he will come yawm al qiyamati he will not be held accountable for that limada because qad uqimat alayhi al had because the legal punishment has been already established upon him al kafir so just to show you that the person that was committing this crime he is not a disbeliever because the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala fihi he said al kafir as in regard to the disbeliever qala fihi rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about him man baddala deenahu faqtulu whoever changed his religion take him out whoever changed his religion take him out Now in this line barakallahu fikum it's many things that we have to clarify and also from the benefit Now we're going to start asking a question about what is the benefit of this man baddala deenahu faqtuluhu whoever changes his religion take him out What is the benefit of this Abu Ibrahim Ahsanta and we study it which is hifdudin to preserve the deen the preservation of the religion because if anybody if the deen is not being preserved then anybody will la fa'ala ma sha'a man sha'a that anybody will do whatever they want to do you will enter islam today pray you know oh man you know what ramadan i'm not going to fast so i'm just recant, i'm just apostate you know in 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 shaaban so i see you guys in shawal i'm gonna start coming i'm gonna take back my shahar in shawal he's playing around because he does not want to fast the month of ramadan for instance so this is one of the benefits of it is that the religion is being preserved the religion is being preserved nobody will play with the religion very good very good and this is something that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring rectification this is something that in some part of the world in the muslim land that some muslim are very much being afflicted with it you have some of the disbelievers they will come right now here is the the, the catch people will marry their daughters off not because of the individual he has deen but just because he has wealth now you care less about what is his religion care less about his religion he has deen he has mal he has money that's what count he has cash abu zura abu jalil huh? you say cash akhi barakallahu feek so he has cash other brother say that's it they're going to marry him to 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 their daughter now they will tell you oh you got to just take shahada you know take shahada say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah and knowing that this individual he is not he is saying this shahada for that he will say the shahada today tomorrow you will find him doing the same thing he was doing now it's just like they want to free themselves of any guilt oh we, he get, he took shahada this is like it's like a formal formal it's like a formality oh he took his shahada now two days later three days later the man go back to wherever he's from to you with your with your daughter and that is it it's it's done now just because of the wealth wal iyadu billah and this is why alhamdulillah before anyone marry their daughters off akhi investigate who you marrying your daughters off investigate who you marrying your daughters off 
they pray, they fast, it's not enough. They pray, they fast, it's not enough. They believe is this is correct, that's not enough. How about if they criticize the ulama? You're going to give your daughter to someone that, that attack the ulama? Somebody that criticize the scholars? Somebody that speak bad about the scholars? You're going to give your daughter? Think about somebody speaking bad about Shia Rabir. He pray, he fast, he make tatawar, he make, he read the Quran, he finish the Quran every seven days. You're going to marry him your daughter off? Are you going to marry him your daughter off? So therefore we must, alhamdulillah, investigate and interrogate thoroughly about whom we're going to marry our daughters of. Very important, barakallah, fiqh. He's a Tijani Sufi. You're going to marry your daughter? So the next Mawlud, your daughter will be calling you, hey, Baba, Abi, let's go. Now this is the trial and the trip. This, this is a tribulation and a trial that Barakallah Fikum, some of our countries are being faced. That a person comes from wherever he come from, wherever he come from, with disbelief, kufr, straight up, as long as he has a, 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 a European passport, an American passport, a little bit of cash, that's it. We're going to sell you our daughter. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله شيخ ربي حفظه الله he concludes with saying فارتكاب كبائر من الزناء والقتل والشر وشرب الخمر وشرب الخمر وما شاكل ذلك كبائر عظيم وشديدة جدا he say that embarking or having these major sins the likes of killing the likes of fornication the like of drinking intoxicants the likes of the likes of the likes of the likes of he say yes indeed they are from the major sins and they are extreme they are very severe very much severe وَجَرِيمَةٌ مَنْ and it is a crime in the viewpoint of Islam. It is a crime as Islam as Islam is concerned. Lakin, but with all of this evil, with all of this despicability that is in this sins, La Yukafiruhu al Islam. He say Islam will not declare such a person to be a disbelievers. Yes, yuqamu alayhi al had. Yes, the legal punishment will be established. Wa yuqabuhu fi fi al akhira, and he will be punished in the hereafter. Be had a dhanb upon with uh, about that sin. Ida lam yuqab anhu bi qadri ma sha Allahu aw ma yasha Allahu wa bi qadri ma yastahiq. He say he will be punished. In the hell, in the in the in the hellfire, if he is not being forgiven by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, based on based on what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will, and based on what this person is deserving to be punished. Based if he is not being forgiven by Allah, shuf, if he is not being forgiven by Allah, then he will be punished based on. What Allah will, Subhanahu wa Taala, wa bi qadri ma yastahiqu, and also based on what He is, what is due right of a punishment for Him. Indeed, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He mentioned, Inna Allaha la yadlim mithqala, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He will not wrong anyone. Even if it is the side of an atom seed or a mustard seed, Allah will not wrong nobody, no one. Lakin la la yakhruju an al Islam, but the person is not out of outside of the Islam. Allah yukhruj an al Islam. He is not to be taken 
out of the fold of Al-Islam. لا يخرج عن الإسلام. He is not to be.